Welcome back, everybody. This is Cable Rose. Let's talk leadership. We're in season one, episode 12 of Star Wars, The Clone Wars. Today comes to us the statement, fail with honor rather than succeed, my fraud. So as I got to sit down and think about this one, failing with honor rather than succeeding by fraud, times and things have come up in my past, my career, uh, moments in time. The one I want to talk about is a uh, a uh, co-worker of mine, we were in the military, we we're down in, uh, well, up in Nebraska, up at Offutt Air Force Base. I'll never forget this kid. He took out 94 Charlie 214, which was our government truck. He went out for a drive. He went to go do a work order. We were telephone guys. He finished a work order and he came back and we had this compound, a big, huge gate. You had to lift it up and then I was on wheels and you had to wheel it open so you could drive in. I'll never forget, he drove in, and just as he started going, wind caught that gate, big-ass gate, and it swung it back and took out the front quarter panel and busted his uh, side mirror. Now, a couple things about this scenario. Nobody was around. He could have moved the gate, gone in, drived and parked. And there's a couple things here. Most people would think, well, you know, somebody... Uh, would know he drove the truck and there's a reason why that is in the military after you get into a vehicle we had what was called an 1800 the form we had to go in and do an ops check and walk around look at your headlights make sure your taillights worked check your oil your air pressure your tires all that and every day you got in a truck you had to drive it well, the problem was this young airman did not sign that first thing in the morning when he got in the truck so he could have pulled in parked and walked away nobody would have been the wiser but uh, I'll never forget Travis Day. That was his name. Travis was like, nah, this sucks. He went in, told his boss, hey, boss, I just banged up the truck, yada, yada, yada. And he had to go through a whole rigmarole. He had to go through and do a safety report, a damage report, and they had to do a cost analysis and all this other stuff. Um, two stripes, young kid. He could have walked away and had no problem with it. But internally, he knew that he could not have the integrity to do that. He couldn't succeed, meaning walk away and be a fraud. He'd rather fail with honor, which is exactly what he did. He went in and owned up to it. Um, there were other scenarios, other times where people had done exactly what I was talking about. They got away with something because they didn't want to tell nobody. Uh, another one here is a good one. Um, telephone switch, a telephone guy. He was sitting inside of a server room. Back in the day, it was a switch room. And every one of those cabinets had these double doors that would open up and you'd pull out these huge trays and there'd be all these electronic cards in there. I'll never forget. Before you touch that server switch, before you got onto the equipment, you had to ground out and you had this little wristband that went on and it would plug into a part of the machine and grounded you so you didn't have any ESD, electrostatic discharge. I'll never forget this kid went in there, pulled that out, slid the card out, never grounded it, and fried a $30,000 circuit board for the front end of the switch. Um, put it in, slid it back, and walked away. And I was like, what the hell, dude? You got to, you know, anyway. So when it got right down to it, it sucked because it, you can get in trouble. I mean, if you do it wrong, you get in trouble. But I'd rather do it wrong. But what one, I'd rather not do it wrong than get there. I'd rather not do it wrong. But if I'm doing it wrong and something happens, I got to have the integrity to own up to it. So this one is, is I'd rather succeed by not being a fraud. I'd rather fail and have the honor in what I'm doing. The big one for me, it's a big one in a leadership realm. When you go to any organization, any work center, when you walk in there, that's what we're talking about. Those are the types of individuals because it is, it's an individual choice. Um, those are the kind of individuals you're seeking to put into organizations. So I'd rather fail all day and still walk out with my head held high um, and fix it tomorrow or improve it tomorrow, whatever that looks like, rather than cheat my way through the day and succeed, but be a complete fraud and POS. I don't want to do that. So it's a big one for us in organizations. Definitely how we're trying to build. Um, sometimes it's an internal thing. People are or are not. They do or they do not. Um, I'd love to think that we could teach that at some point in life. Um, I think we can encourage it. I think that is either innate in some people or some people are brought up that way and they have that as, uh, ability. Not everybody does and that's definitely what we're seeking for. But to everybody else out there, 
This is episode 12 of Star Wars Clone Wars Leadership Lessons. You guys, I'll catch you guys on the flip-flop. Thank you.